Now, picture this scene, and perhaps some of you already know it. Imagine that there's a tram on a track and it's heading towards five people. For whatever reason, those five people are actually lying on that track and the tram is going to hit them and kill them. It's going to run them over. But you can make a choice now. You can make a decision. You can actually go over to a lever, push it, and change the direction of the tram onto another track. If you do that, there is another person, a single person who's lying down, and the tram will kill them. So you have a decision to make. Do you do nothing and allow five people to die on the original track, or do you actually do something, push that lever, and then cause the death of that one person on that other track? Now, the reason I give you this scenario, it's a classic tram trolley scenario, is that it tells you a lot about yourself and your own moral philosophy. But also, in law, you will find that many times laws are based upon for the greater good, i.e. saving five people on this occasion, or it could be said that there are certain laws where we actually understand that no matter what, they shouldn't be breached. Now, this for me is very interesting. You might think, well, goodness me, yeah, okay, thank you very much, but, but so what? We are moving into a new realm of technology where we have cars that are going to be autonomous. In fact, we already have, okay? They're capable of driving themselves very nicely along. What if the technology fails? What if you have allowed that car to go along and perhaps you're falling asleep or you're having a picnic in the back of the car and suddenly the technology fails and it kills somebody? Are you at fault? Well, at the moment, yes, you are, because it's considered for the greater good that actually you have the responsibility for that situation, no matter what. And now consider the technology actually in the car itself. Somebody will have had to have programmed your autonomous car, your self-driving car, to make decisions. Your car, the programming, the algorithms that it's possibly going to be running on, we're going to have to decide whether actually they save your life and run somebody over, but causing you little harm, or do they somehow recognize that that person who you're about to run over is actually a child and so therefore makes your car swerve into a wall but thereby kills you? How is it going to make those decisions? And this to me is a very intriguing new development in technology, but how also now the law needs to keep pace and understand where does the line of responsibility go? So think about when you're studying law, is it based upon a moral philosophy that is showing for the greater good or based upon a rule or a principle? And do you agree with it? By all means, study law because you wish to become a barrister or a solicitor and go down the more traditional legal careers. By all means, it's very, very, very rewarding. But for me, please study law because actually it's, it's of an interest to you that you're finding it very, very compelling. It will tell you a lot about yourself.